We get lots of juvenile pheasants turning up on the road further up where I walk my dog Lucy. And today they have literally blocked the whole road in a line. Now what you're going to see is totally heartbreaking. Because these birds are protecting another species, which unfortunately is going to die. Now if I replay the footage again, you can see that there is another avian flu infested bird just behind one of the pheasants. Is it a woodcock? Is it another pheasant? No, but a wood pigeon. How thoughtful and however very sad and heartbreaking is that? Some baby pheasants staying with a wood pigeon with avian bird flu until it dies. But the pheasants disappear into the undergrowth at the side of the road. Probably spooked by our car. Well, it's pretty lucky that they went into the hedge because they wouldn't want to get sick with whatever the wood pigeon had. Well, I hope they won't get sick. Well, fingers crossed, they'll just stay in the hedge. Now, if you look at the wood pigeon, you can see that it's just sitting around, not moving. In fact, I actually know what exactly what's wrong with it because wood pigeons don't normally sit around like that when people are near or when cars are near. In fact this bird is a classic case of avian influenza. Now guys there is a disease called bird flu which you'd probably find on the internet. This um, virus is getting really big at the moment for birds. Gulls, other birds, in fact all bird all wild bird species here in the UK and um, other parts of the world are now getting affected by this virus. In fact, two people have died in the UK. In fact, um, bird flu is normally a very rare case in dogs, foxes and even us humans. In fact, there is, like I said, um, only two people in the UK have died from bird flu. But still, if you find an infected bird, stay away from it.